everybody's got to live And everybody's gonna die Everybody's got to live I think you know the reason why Sometimes I go and get so good Then again it gets pretty rough But when I have you in my arms, baby You know I just can't, I just can't get enough uh, Oh yeah Everybody's got a little Yes they do And everybody's gonna die Everybody's trying to have a a good time I think you know the reason why I saw a blind man standing on the corner yesterday, baby He couldn't hardly tie his shoes But he had a harmonica and a guitar strapped around his neck And he sure could, he sure could play the blues uh, Oh yeah Everybody's got a little and everybody's gonna die Everybody try to have a, a good time I think you know the reason why I feel like I've seen just about a million sunsets She said if you're with me I'll never go away That's when I stopped and I took another look at my baby She said if you're with me I'll never go away because everybody's got a little My food contains glucose The fuel that feeds the trillions of healthy cells in my body But that glucose also feeds something else Zombie cells Old damaged cells that have lingered beyond their useful life. By spewing toxic sludge, these zombies infect other healthy cells, speeding up the aging process. Everything from hair loss and wrinkles to the onset of arthritis, cancer and dementia. But what scientists have realized is that when we fast and cut off the supply of glucose, that zombie army is starved of energy, which saps them of their power. When food is plentiful, our body stores excess energy in the form of fat, under the skin and around the internal organs. When food is scarce, that fat is sent to the liver, where it's turned into an alternative fuel source called a ketone and it's these ketones which provide the emergency power source not only for our bodies but also our brains remember those toxic zombie cells aging my body well they're not the only things getting dealt with even inside my healthy cells there's wear and tear but scientists think that without food to process those cells can switch into repair mode. Fixing damage, cleaning up garbage, nipping any problems in the bud. With the zombies in check and the rest of me in tip-top condition, the future looks healthier and also longer. Autophagy. Why do we need it? This is Paul. Every day he reads his favorite newspaper, but over time a giant stack of paper collects in his house. Only the recycling truck can save him from drowning in yesterday's news. But what happens to his paper afterwards? Much of it is reconstituted for new uses in the cycle we call recycling. But long before we began recycling our trash, nature was following the same principle. Even the cells in our body recycle their trash. There, the cycle is called autophagy. Cells eliminate invading viruses and bacteria, but also harmful protein aggregates and old or damaged parts of the cell's nucleus that are no longer needed. The process of breaking these things down involves two liquid-filled structures inside the cell. 
The autophagosome collects the trash and transports it to the lysosome. The lysosome contains digestive enzymes that finally separate the cellular junk into its component parts. But don't worry, nothing goes to waste. These broken down parts are turned into new cell components that can be used again. This has many advantages. Our body's natural resources are conserved, we save energy, and our cell's trash can never overflow. But sometimes, the trash isn't disposed of correctly. This can cause diseases such as infections with certain forms of viral influenza, Alzheimer's, or cancer. But how is autophagy controlled? Paul found the answer in one of his newspapers. The Japanese biologist Yoshinori Osumi was doing research about 25 years ago when he made a major discovery. He was investigating the genes of simple yeast cells. In various experiments, he kept changing those genes in order to test the effect this would have on the cell's recycling process. Eventually, he found 15 genes in the yeast that were responsible for different stages of the autophagy process. Then he was able to apply his finding to human cells, which is why he received the 2016 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. There are still many puzzles and secrets about autophagy, but scientists are working on decoding them. Paul is relieved to know how important his built-in recycling system is for keeping his cells healthy.